call it Kelp, Kelpie Tracker. Kelpie Tracker? So, we have storage for poles, solar panel and storage within. This is locked at the moment, but I can lift this up, hinge it, so if the sun's up there I can turn the solar panel to face the wind. And deflectors at an angle, because when the stones throw up, many throw back onto the vehicle, and many four-wheel drives get smashed back door windows because of stones, so you have to have an angle to deflect them all. Mm. And I've got the Bluetooth battery monitor so I can read the battery in the car or anything. Yeah. That's it. And Holden Commodore bonnet struts. We've got opening skylights. The rear hatch. So there's our fridge water containers either side so we can carry 80 litres of water there. The bed, full size bed, it's almost queen size width, it's just about two inches short of queen size. So plenty of room, comfortable, warm, LED lights and for the night lights we can have red so you don't lose your night vision and it doesn't attract the mosquitoes red or white a uh, little bit of hanging space not much lots of storage under the bed it's all storage space virtually underneath and the, the galley where you keep all the food and the camping stove bits and pieces we usually unroll this and hang our cutlery here yeah Travel, travel mugs, all secure. Uh, circuit breakers for the power supply. So there's power to the angle, power to the lights inside and out. And of course all run by the solar panel and one 12 volt battery. For a radio and speakers and a, a screw on the aerial at the front here. Put on a radio aerial and that's it off-road tires off-road suspension that is amazing and how much did it cost to make i'm guessing around nine thousand but it's all all marine plywood built like a, a boat stressed ply and epoxy and then sheathed with fiberglass cloth and epoxy and then just good quality paint just hand painted and how long did it take you to make? Well, it was over a period of a couple of years because I made the chassis first, built the chassis, had it galvanised, and then built the floor and then had a break for a while because I was busy at work. Um, so overall it was probably about two and a half years and just the, the last bit was quite hard, finishing it off and getting the shapes. And then it was just the fittings and paint all gas struts on all the openers, gas struts for the solar panel. And where has this uh, amazing contraption been to? Pretty much up and down the east coast. Um, we went down to Geelong, stayed with Josh and Amy in Geelong for a period. Um, where else have we been? Uh, Harvey Bay, we've done a few trips to Harvey Bay, have holidays up there, the Sunshine Coast, different trips. And then west uh, out to Dolby. Yeah. So we haven't taken it to the desert. But yeah, so. And then we sleep in it when we're at the farm. That's our bed. Fully sealed bedroom. No spiders. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Peppy, does she, does she stay with you inside as well? No. But in bad weather when we're camping, she'll climb up in the back and, and sit where the esky is. And lie there. She did that last night too. But normally, no, she doesn't sleep in it. 